Hey guys, welcome back to another video. After checking out the new Netherite tools and the new Netherite armor, today we want to check out how good are the new Netherite weapons. So the goal of this video is to explain how the damage is calculated and compare the new Netherite weapons with the old diamond weapons. The good news first, the damage calculation of the weapons is rather straightforward. The formulas are quite simple in contrast to the formulas we yeah, used in order to calculate armor and how fast tools are. So if you take a look at the weapons, you can already get most of the information we need. So the new Netherite sword has an attack damage of 8 compared to 7 of the diamond sword. And the axe has an attack damage of 10 compared to 9 of the diamond axe. Of course we also need to take a look at the attack speed. So that basically means how many attacks with full damage you can do per second. So here it says 1.6 attack speed. So you can, we can roughly do 1.6 attacks full damage per second. Yeah, as you might notice, uh, since 1.9 weapons have a cooldown under my crossbar. Shows this recharging sword. Just completely fill up the weapon does maximum damage and if you attack before it's fully charged you do less damage. The wiki also has a good info page um, how much damage you do per stage. Uh, there's one little inaccuracy here with the yeah, 1.6 attack damage or attack speed uh, since it rounds the number down. After 12 ticks a sword is fully charged. Um, one second is 20 ticks. So that actually means we can do 1.666 and so on um, yeah, attacks per second. So the number here is just rounded down. It's kind of important for a damage per second calculation to use exact numbers. Yeah, so in case of the old uh, diamond weapons, uh, the sword could do a DPS, so unenchanted and everything against a target without any armor of 11.66, while the axe was about 9. So we do 29.5% more damage per second with optimal attacks with the sword. And yeah, in case of the netherite tools, so we were at 10 with the axe and at 13.3 with the netherite sword. So in case uh, you weren't sure what weapon to use, the balance definitely drifted a bit towards the netherite sword. We will also take a look at other factors that influence the damage output of the weapons, like for example sharpness, or bane of arthropods, or smite, while we exclude the changes that are currently being done in the combat snapshots, like for example a chopping enchantment. Maybe once that is getting added to the main game, we can take a look at that again. Alright, so in case you have sharpness on your weapon, you get one extra damage for the first level. So for sharpness one, you get plus one. Then for each additional level, you get 0 0.5 on top of that. So in case you have sharpness 5, you get 3 extra damage per level. Of course, this favors weapons that have a higher attack speed, because this yeah, 1 extra damage or 3 extra damage is applied to the axes in the same way it is to the swords. So here we have another DPS comparison with sharpness 5 weapons, the diamond sword. In case of optimal attacks, was dealing about 39% more damage than the axe, and the netherite sword is dealing around 41% more damage per second than the axe, in case we have sharpness 5, against unarmored targets. Later we'll also take a look um, at the numbers for the armor targets. In case you're fighting hostile mobs, the Bane of Arthropods or the Smite enchantment is also an interesting choice. So the Bane of Arthropods would deal extra damage against Mobs like spiders, cave spiders, bees, silverfish, and endermite. And the smite enchantment deals extra damage against undead mobs like wizard skeletons, skeletons, zombies, the wizard, etc. And yeah, that's 2.5 per level, so up to a maximum of 12.5 uh, in case you have the Bane of Arthropods or Smite 5 enchantment. Also really interesting is the critical hit that you can land um, while you're falling down. There's also extra factors like you couldn't be in water but yeah usually while you're falling down you could attack with a critical hit and that deals 50% additionally of the base damage. So in case of the diamond sword for example we get 7 attack damage then you deal 50% 50, 50 more so 10.5 attack damage. In case of the netherite axe there we have it instead of dealing 10 damage it would be 15. Yeah, and this way you can also calculate the combined damage. So in case you land a critical hit with a netherite axe, 
uh, then you deal 15 damage and you have the Bane of Arthropods, 5 enchantment, uh, then you get 12.5 additionally, so you would deal up to a maximum of 27.5 against a spider. And there's another influencing factor, the strength effect. That gives you plus 3 per level. So in case you have a strength 2 potion, you get plus 6 per level. And in case you land a critical hit, you also get per level 1.5 extra. So in case of strength 1, this will be 4.5 in total in case you land a critical hit. And in case of strength 2, it will be 9. I made a spreadsheet with a lot of different configurations, which is really interesting to see which mobs we can one-hit kill with the different weapons. Right, for example, if you take a look at the first column, just got a plain sharpness 5 on the weapons. The Nazarite Axe would deal 13, Diamond Axe 12, Nazarite Sword 11, and Diamond Sword 10, sharpness 5. Here in case we have Smite or Bane of Arthropods, we get those values. And yeah, also for example, put in a situation where we have the highest sharpness, land a critical hit, and have strength two. All right, those numbers yeah, are really important uh, in yeah context of some hostile mobs. So let's take a look at those numbers next. I made a little overview of the mobs you would usually encounter in a melee fight, and wrote down how much health they have. Because it's really interesting to see if you can maybe one hit kill some of the mobs for certain weapon configuration, or if it takes two hits. Uh, so later I'm going to highlight some of those cases. So this is a very large group of mobs that have 20 health. So the skeletons, wizard skeletons and normal, all the zombie type mobs, uh, the phantom and the creeper. Yeah, over here we have the ravager and the iron golem. They have 100 health. The new hoglin has 40, like the enderman. The new piglin only has 16 and yeah, the vexes have 14. The Guardian, the Schalke have 30, the Pillager and the Vindicator have 24, the Witch has 26, the Spider has 16, the Cave Spider 12, the Anamite and the Silverfish have 8. Alright, now let's check out some of the highlights I picked out. In case you take anything away from the video, it's probably gonna be this. So the new Nazarite Sword, in case it has the Smite 5 enchantment, can deal 20.5 damage, in contrast to the 19.5 of the Diamond Sword. And that means if you have a skeleton, you can want to kill it now. So you couldn't do that before. But with the diamond, you need to hit it at least twice. You can also now confirm some of the values. So by default, a skeleton has 20 health. If you hit it with the diamond sword, it has 0 0.5. So this confirms the 19.5. Zombies and zombie pigmen are also wanted killed with the smite 5 sword. Uh, despite them having a little bit of armor, so they got 20 health and 2 armor points, but the amount of damage you would deal with the Smite 5 Sword is actually 20.17. So still more than 20. Right, so this is super useful in case you have multiple Pikmin. Survival mode, you can one hit kill them without alerting the other Pikmin around. So yeah, a Smite 5 Nazarite Sword will be super useful. Dealing a bit of extra damage with the Sharpness 5 Sword is also very useful when fighting zombies or zombie pigmen, since the armor reduces the amount of damage by a yeah, small amount. So it actually takes 3 hits with the Sharpness 5 Sword to kill a zombie. So here we have one without AI. I check its health. Yeah, it has 0 0.32 left since it has 2 armor points. So let's try that again. Summon another zombie with the Netherite Sword. Only takes two hits. It's also possible now to one hit kill witches with the new Nazarite axe. So, in case you have the sharpness 5 enchantment, you land a critical hit, and you have the strength 2 effect, you would deal 27 damage, one more than the 26 health the witch has. So, let's try it out. There we go, one hit kill a witch. This wasn't possible before with the diamond axe, since you would only deal 25.5. The witch had a bit health left. Would need to hit it again. Vindicators and pillagers are also now possible one hit kills in case you land a critical hit and have strength two. So let's check this one out. Nazarite sword. Got him. The diamond sword, sharpness five. Yeah, has a bit of health left. In case you're using a sharpness five axe, spiders are also now one hit kill if you are under the influence of the strength effect. So deal exactly 16 damage, 
which is enough to take out a spider. So diamond X, I still need to hit it twice. To sum this part up a little bit, I think the absolute highlight of the new Nazarite weapons is that you're now able to one-hit kill mobs like zombies, skeleton, wizard skeleton as well, uh, drowned mob, the husk, and the stray uh, with the yeah, smite 5 sword. So this is the absolute highlight in my opinion, which makes it totally worth it to get it. So it might be yeah, a consideration now to bring a smite 5 Nazarite sword with you in combina combination with a sharpness 5 X. I don't think there's any advantage really of having Smite 5 or Bane of Arthropods on an X, since yeah, in case you have the Strength 2 effect and have Sharpness, you can even yeah, one-hit kill the Witches as well. Now let's come back to PvP once more to see how the new weapons are doing against the new armor, compared to Diamond weapons against Diamond armor. What we've established already so far is that the balance definitely shifted towards using Swords a bit more, since the DPS is a bit higher with the new weapons. And of course, if you consider the trident as well, that became even less attractive. Maybe it would be a good idea to add yeah, an upgrade for the trident as well. What about a Nazarite trident? Might be an idea in order to keep the old balance. I think the trident was balanced against the diamond weapons before. I've done a lot of testing and mostly wanted to see how the new weapons would do against the new armor compared to diamond weapons against diamond armor. So what I did, I gave the spot here a sword and gave, gave myself also yeah, Nazarite armor. The sword also had sharpness 5 on it. Right, and then I just did the command to attack me. And of course I used the health command again to see that number. It's a bit different because of the testing without the protection for enchantment, um, but you can derive the numbers uh, from, from those. The protection for Enchantment, when on all four armor pieces, reduces the amount of damage by 64%. So if you multiply this value here, uh, this was the Nazarite, no wait, actually this value here, this was the Nazarite sword, um, by 0 0.36, you would come to the 1.14 uh, damage that I just took. And next I did the same testing, just with diamond weapons against diamond armor. And there you did a bit less damage. So you could say that the battles with the diamond armor lasted a little bit longer, but the change is not really that significant. I also tested the same again with critical hits and uh, critical hits with strength 2. And there, interestingly, uh, diamond weapons would do more damage against diamond armor than the Nazarite equivalent. So there, the Nazarite fight would last a bit longer, but it was not really that significant. Right, so here cut the amount of hits it would take to yeah, reduce health from 20 to 0, considering sharpness 5, weapons and protection 4 gear on everything. Um, so in case of the yeah, in case of fighting with a diamond sword, it would take 5.8 hits, so strength 2 um, considered and um, critical hits. In case of the Nazarite, it would take 5.9 hits. So it's all really close together, but it doesn't factor in regeneration. So the difference is not really that interesting, I guess. It's really close together. But yeah, in case of um, fighting without strength to it, fights should be over a tiny bit quicker now with Nazarite. In case strength 2 is involved, uh, it's vice versa. Right, so now I also want to check again um, how yeah, the swords would do against the axes again, in case um, armor is also being considered. So here we got the numbers for the diamond weapon, normal hits, critical hits, and strength. So interestingly, in case you have strength 2, um, the swords are yeah, proportionally better against the axes than without. But also the new Nazarite tool shifts the balance towards the swords a bit more again. So this was all the testing I've done. Hope you found this interesting. Main takeaway is definitely consider getting a Smite 5 Nazarite sword in the next update. Alright, thanks guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.